Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Now, I have some really exciting things to show you. Yesterday, I attended on stage 2018 April in Sydney. Now, I was lucky enough to be a display stamper, so I didn't do swaps this year, but I can't show you my display stamper projects right now you will have to wait a little while for me to show you but i'll absolutely show you all the products i got and the projects i made with them when i'm allowed but what i wanted to come and show you today is the team swaps that i made and what i was very lucky enough to receive from my team and other demonstrators who wanted to share their swaps with me even though i wasn't swapping with them so i'm going to start with the swaps that i gave my team so my direct team were lucky enough to get their own personalized bone folder now my team's name is wicker woodies i'm ellen woodbridge we've all got wicked senses of humor and that's what one of my teams suggested as our team name and it stuck a few years ago so they got this and i used the uh, the in color pattern paper and would you believe the name of that pattern paper is absolutely it is the Fresh Florals pattern paper. Now, I used all the colours in the set. So, I used Lemon Lime Twist, Fresh Fig, Tranquil Tide, Berry Burst, and Powder Pink. So, everyone got different colour, but they got a matching card. And the stamp set I used for this one is the Just Add Text. I used some vellum um, cut out with the oval stitched framelits and I used some of the coordinating uh, cotton woven ribbon with that. Just lined it on the inside and I made this really cute holder. So I just cut a strip of pattern paper and use the notch of the envelope punch board to cut some notches and once again use some of the in color ribbon to tie a cute bow so that's what my team wrote got and they got their card personalized in the middle so i'll pop that aside now from my team leader i got this really cute pouch now these were her team gifts so we got some cute post-its or flags so we could flag the catalog but i used my i bought ones for my team that went in their gift as well and everyone got tea coffee or hot chocolate i don't drink tea or coffee so i got a little hot chocolate pouch was really cute but these are the most adorable little post it so thank you so much linda for that and then my team were very nice to make me some gifts i got this using the celebration amazing you stamp set this is using uh, bermuda bay and this was a team gift from brooke and this was a little wish list pack, which I love. I'm going to keep this on my desk. So when I see things, I can jot things down. It is just the cutest. I love it and so great. On the day I was marking my catalogue, actually, I really didn't digest the catalogue until a little earlier because it was too, it was too much fun catching up with everyone. But this is going to have a special place on my desk. I got, now, some of these I'm going to open. Some of them I have already opened. So this is a really cool key ring from my downline Donna. So what she has done with this, 
she has heat embossed not on it on the actual insert that goes in it and she's used the petal palette stamp set and use my favorite roses on that and funnily enough it matches the team badge that I made and she used the stamp set and some of the dazzling diamonds glimmer paper and just use a mini sequin trim and baker's twine which I love and I got this card came from Gail Gray and the stamp set she has used is happy birthday gorgeous oh weathered together weathered together because that's one I don't have I don't have weathered together and I just love how she's used the uh, starburst punch and she's used the uh is it the scallop the, the scallop circle punches in the occasions catalog just to create this really cute and pretty card now i think that's it for my team swaps but if there are any more now i did make so this is what we get when we're at on stage we get our name and we get um, some ribbons that we stick on the back and I always make a little team badge so this is what I made for my team and I used some Pacific Point ribbon to and I'll get the exact name of that this is the Pacific Point stitched edge ribbon let me put that back otherwise I'll never find its way home on my desk so I just stapled that to the back I have used the circle the nesting circle dies I know that's not the name but they are the circle framelits that are in the catalogue I cut some vellum because, you know, I always use vellum. I'm really excited in one of the projects that we made, they use vellum. So I'll be able to share that with you very soon. For the background that I stamped these in um, dapper denim. And the background is from the You've Got This background. And I have used Petal Palette. For the flowers which I then colored with old olive blends and night of navy blends on shimmer paper and then I just printed this one off my computer and cut it out with the classic label punch popped it together and everyone knew we belonged together which was great I really enjoy making a team badge and doing something a bit different for my team but that is the end of my team things and now to get on with the rest of the swaps so I'm going to and try and leave them in the plastic because some of the recipes aren't necessarily attached so this is from Danuta Stevens and she has used the uh, oh so eclectic stamp set sorry I knew it was eclectic but I was going to say um, the wrong thing she's used the pattern paper a lot of people at on stage loved it and chopped their pattern paper which I love get it out of our stashes to make room for new things so and she's also used the beautiful you stamp set for the sentiment I got this one from the be my beautiful friend Rosalie Desmond she's done a beautiful bokeh technique in the background and she has used the beautiful day stamp set yes and the sentiments from beautiful day as well so really love that this next one oh this is another team one i missed this is from my uh, team member helen Beatty, and she has used one of my favorite sets ever which is birthday wit 
and the pattern paper that she has used is naturally eclectic and she's used once again that fresh fig in colour ribbon. So she made a lot and colour coordinated them. A lot of people make their swaps and do um, lots of different colour combinations, which is great. We get to choose. So this one is from Sarah Newick and she has used brusho in the background. So she's used brusho on bubble wrap, uh, not bubble wrap, yes, bubble wrap which gives a really cool effect. I love it. And she has used the Stamparatus to, um, for both her sentiments and those stamp sets, uh, that stamp set is one big meaning. So she's lined those up really well using the Stamparatus. Such an effective background. I love it. This next one is from... Michelle Sargent Delini, sorry if I'm butchering your name there, and she has used the Daisy Delight bundle along with the um, leaf, the layered leaves embossing folder. And has she done, I think she may have done the shaving cream technique, yes, she's done the shaving technique technique in the background with our reinkers. It's just lovely. I love that technique. I don't do messy guys, so um, you don't see many messy things, but in one of my team meetings, one of my downlines made the, this shaving cream technique a lot less messy and we had a play at a team meeting. This next one is from Irene Rahman and I was actually very lucky to receive two things from Irene. She, I've met her a couple of times and she's just gorgeous. This once again is using um, Petal Palette and the Layered Leaves Embossing Folder and the... Patterned paper that matches Petal Palette, which name is totally escaping me. And she's used some of our metallic black thread behind that bird. Isn't that just cute? And as a little extra, she did also give me these uh, Shrinky Dink Pandas, which are just gorgeous. I love them. They are so sweet. I'm going to have to put them... Um, where I can see them, which will make me very happy. The next one I got is from the delightful Sue Vine. Now, she has used, for the sentiment, she has used the Eastern Beauty stamp set and she has used the Cake Soiree bundle to do the rest of her project i just love and i think she may have used touches of texture as well yes she used touches of texture in the background i just love the colors and the composition of it i love sue's work i love everyone's work everyone's has such different ideas now this one is from jesse holton and she has used our um, shimmery white texture paste in the background. I am doing a texture paste class, uh, I think, next week. Um, and this is so much fun to play with. And she has used the same fresh florals paper, I think, and cut out the images. She's cut out the images from the paper and popped a doily and some um, silver metallic thread and a sentiment from Thoughtful Banners, which is great. Yes, that's from Thoughtful Banners. Looking at my stamp sets here while I'm showing you. Now, this next one is from Gloria Classens. Sorry, guys, if I'm butchering names here. She has used flesh Fresh florals was really popular. It was funny. We were talking about it 
Um, I was talking about it with a couple of demonstrators before on stage and we were all using fresh florals, <laughs> which is lovely. So she is, has used Tranquil Tide uh, for the green paired with the fresh fig, which looks great. She has used the heart dye, which is the Bloom and Hearts Thinlet. She's used the Bold Butterfly Thinlets and she has used the Watercolour Wings stamp set along with the uh, Stitch Shapes Framelets, which I used to death. One of my favourite, favourite framelets. Okay, I have a few 3D things. I got this really cute lollipop. I don't know if I'll eat it, but it's so fun to look at. This one is from Sarah Spencer, and she has used the magical, the magical day bundle, which I just love her unicorn. Although it's a fat bottomed unicorn. That's the one thing that I always look at it and go, it's a pointy fat bottomed unicorn. But that is so colourful and fun. So thank you. This next one is from Amanda Shields. And this is, it's just got a lollipop and it's just a lollipop holder using the foil frenzy paper. And the stamp set is called A Good Day. So that is just really sweet in Lemon Lime Twist. Really sweet, something great for party favours. Okay, I got this random one and unfortunately they haven't put their name on it. But it is really cute. The embossing folder in the background is the Petal Pears embossing folder that's in the uh, current occasions catalog and the hello there is from and I do own it it's from the petals and no uh, from the pieces and patterns uh, stamp set so that is really cute treats okay and I'm down to my last couple this gorgeous one is from Debbie Rolls. She has used the Flower Shop stamp set. This looks like it is from, 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 sorry, looking at my stamp sets again, guys. It's from um, Painted Harvest. And these ones I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure where they're from, but they are gorgeous. Once again, using fresh florals. So this is a belly band that came off. I have already opened it, and I was really happy to see what was inside. And it is colour-coordinated. Look at that colour coordination. And she has put a really cute shower cap in there, which I will definitely use. I am a shower cap user. Um, so yeah, really cute. Always good to have a backup shower cap. So thank you, Debbie, for that. I really appreciate it. And the last, down to the last two, I got, um, a random act of kindness. One, I received this from Kylie Batucci with a cute pair of earrings at on stage because I'm part of the random act of kindness group. I'm not as active as on there as I'd like to be. Life has been a bit busy. And this absolutely adorable one from Carolina Evans. So she did these. This is actually a tea light candle. And um, she did them in flamingos and in cactuses. They are just so, so, so super cute. And I, th uh, I don't think I own that stamp set that came with it. I don't think it's the flamingo. It's not the flamingo stamp set. I'm just, it's on the tip of my tongue, the name of that. But anyway, they are my swaps. I will bring some of them back in for you to look at thank you everyone who happily shared a swap with me and i do hope all of you that were at on stage in sydney enjoyed 
the projects that I made for Display Stamper. That was the way I shared with you this year because I did have to make quite a number of those projects. So I'll just pop all of these back in so you can see them once more. Now I will be putting up, I'll be doing another little video of the bag and the goodies I got it on stage and what was in our bag. None of the new products, but I will be doing a Facebook Live um, and it is available on my Facebook Facebook business page. So if you search for Ellen Woodbridge Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator on Facebook or even put in Ellen Woodbridge and you will find my business page. So you can head over have a look at the videos tab and I will show you the bag and all the other goodies that I got. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and saying hi and I will see you again really soon in a video. Just if you wanted to buy anything, any of these products because majority of them are current products, just go to my online store, which is in the description box below. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.